at the Indiana Historical Society, we try and cover all sorts of historical topics with our You Are There series, including musical history. So we're about to take a look back into 1927 with the Jeanette Studio. One of the things we love to do is include interactive. So we're just going to walk back and learn a little bit about how records are made. What creates the correct movement of the stylus and the correct engravings on the wax. When the wax is full, the recording must stop and the full wax master recording is inspected and prepared for the next step in the recording process. We're here in the Herbs Family Gallery, which is the content room space for You Are There 1927, Jeanette Studio. And with me is Dan Shockley, who's our director of museum theater. Dan, talk to us a little bit about why we need a content room in addition to that back in time experience. Well, there's all kinds of learners. And so you can't hit one learner just in one way. And so, you know, in a family group, you may have kinetic learners and you may have people that want to read everything on a wall. And you may have people that just want to talk to an actor. So the content room really allows uh, each person to find something uh, and many things that they're interested in. Great, so we have artifacts in this space, we have a lot of other things. Can you talk a little bit about a couple of your favorite pieces in the content room? Yes, we have great artifacts in here. One of them is uh, the contract that Hoagie Carmichael signed to record at Jeanette Studio. And then another one is uh, right behind you, it is a violin case where the artist uh, wrote down inside the violin box uh, various places they had played and people they'd played with and bigger than anything else is Jeanette Studios. Great. So talk to me a little bit about some of those interactives that we have going on because I know you have a favorite. I do. I do. There's a lot of really cool interactives here. There's one where you can identify sound effects that were created at the Jeanette Studio. There's another one that talks about uh, the way music has been played over time. Uh, and you can explore those. But one of my favorites is right here. This is kind of a uh, lyrical legacies is what we call it. It's essentially a family tree of recording artists that show you how the recording artists of today really can be traced right back to the Jeanette studio with their influences. Like Lin-Manuel Miranda. Lin-Manuel Miranda was inspired by Duke Ellington and Duke Ellington recorded at Jeanette Studios. So you can come in and you can listen to music by Ben Manuel, or you could go all the way back to artists who recorded many years ago. Louis Armstrong recorded at the Jeanette Studio. It was actually his first time recording was at the Jeanette Studio in the 1920s. So we're back in October of 1927. We are at the Jeanette Studio Recording Studio. So we're going to talk to Mrs. Alice Jeanette. Um, I hear this is a family business. Can you tell me how long it's been in the family? Quite some time. Um, my father, John Lumsden, along with uh, some other investors, my husband being one of them, uh, came here in 1893. And uh, well, they were assisting the Star Company in keeping their business going. We purchased the business and through those difficult years financially many many people were able to have their jobs right here in uh, it, it, it was a huge help to Richmond though the uh, that was the piano company the recording uh, my son Fred. We have only just now started uh, uh, officially using uh, electric microphones to record our records but the principle is still the same the sound is recorded here in the microphone but it still is uh, sent through wire in here into this little booth. I don't know if you can see, but here we have the uh, lathe with a wax disc on it, and here is the stylus where the sound is going to be vibrated into that stylus, which is then going to cut into the wax disc. And from there, that wax disc goes over into the factory where it is plated, and uh, we use those, uh, that plating to create the stampers that stamp record after record after record that we sell to the public and that will then go on, hopefully, to be played on a star phonograph. I found out about Jeanette Studio recording and I'm, I felt like they were the closest one, actually the only one that I knew of that I can actually record race music. And that's what I sing. I sing jazz and blues and uh, so it's close and travels not too far. It's a little distance, but we get on the train and make it here. We have a, a copy here of Applesauce, one of the modern tunes that uh, folks seem to be rather fond of. I'll start the old turntable here and 